please welcome to the stage the Head of Retail Solutions for India, Middle East and Emerging Markets at Board, Mr. John Strickland. So we've been talking about what has happened, okay? And we're talking about predicting what's going to happen in the future. I'd like us to go back 30 years, okay? So we're going back 30 years, and we're going to go back to basics, okay? And we're going to talk about data, because we've been talking about the, the, the importance and the reliance of data, okay? So a byte of data is 8 bits. A kilobyte is 1,000 bytes. Okay, a megabyte is a million bytes. A gigabyte is a thousand megabytes. Now, we've all forgotten about this, haven't we? Can I just see a show of hands? Who in the last 24 hours has watched YouTube, Netflix, or Amazon Prime? Okay, so you're downloading a film, right? You're downloading a film. Three gigabytes of data. Well, hi, Dev. Seven gigabytes of data. So, my background, 30 years ago, I set up a, an internet business. The first customer that I put online was the London Stock Exchange. And I had to present in hard copy because there was no internet access in London. Okay, just take that one in. That's in my lifetime, no internet. So, those of you who have teenage children, Try telling them that the internet didn't exist 30 years ago. We had a 14.4 modem to connect, right? 14.4 bit modem. Revolutionized it. 28.8 came out. Then Christmas came early for everyone who works in the internet. We had the 56K modem, right? You could download a film and it only took 26 hours. Amazing. So the revolution started with Napster. Yeah, Napster, right? We all got that. Right? Can we? Yeah. I mean, it's just mad. That, okay, see, now you just you flick through it and you expect that speed. That, all that data is there at the touch of a button. Look at these download speeds, top right. Five kilobits a second. Right? <laughs> Five kilobits a second. To down, and you had to queue, and, down, and it would like run overnight, and then you'd have your MP3s there. So just think, that's, that's all been in our lifetime, right? So, at the moment, the world's data is doubling every two years. Data is not going away, right? By 2025, every 15 hours, the world's data will double. Now, 70% of all data within retail organizations is what we call dark data or black data, right? It has absolutely no value. So don't analyze it. Discard it. Now, we need to work out because that wealth of information has the potential to change we operate as retailers. So we know that data is growing exponentially, okay? We've seen that, that huge curve in data growth. And we've seen and heard that disruptions are becoming more frequent and severe. So, anybody prepare for the pandemic? No. No. Had anyone planned for the pandemic? No. So planning has never, ever been more important. Supply chain. That Suez Canal little mishap with that boat. No one saw that coming because no one had planned for it. Okay, so decisions are becoming more difficult. So traditional planning, hands up who does quite a lot of planning on Excel. Okay, so majority of organizations plan in Excel. 88% of all workbooks, according to PwC, have an error in them. So if you're running your business on a 12% degree of confidence, well done. So what we now need to be is faster, automated, and transparent, transparent. And McKinsey have said disruptions are fundamentally changing the pace of business. And companies with superior planning capabilities are winning the race. So this is what my organization does. 
is we help you to plan smarter, drive outcomes, and lead transformation. Okay, we don't want to focus on the negative on the left-hand side, because we all know that, right? Now, how do we do that? We do that in Board's intelligent planning platform by bringing data from any and multiple data sources. So that can be an ERP, CRM, legacy systems, from traditional relational databases with cloud connectors into big data. So structured and unstructured data. And once it's in the platform, as a single platform, we give you insight into what has happened from a historic perspective. So all of that business intelligence capability, scorecarding, dashboarding, reporting and analytics, then with predictive analytics and machine learning, move into the world of budgeting, planning and forecasting, genuinely as a single platform. And I set up the retail practice about nine years ago in the UK and have been in territory now for about 18 months. These are some of the brands that we, that we work with that I've, I've onboarded over the years across a, a multitude of, of, of very well-known brands. And I think it's governance. I work in sales, you might have noticed, but it's when our customers talk about their journey that's more powerful than me saying we're the best thing. Because I think of Mel Stoker, the head of Merch and IT at Burberry. She had two rounds of UAT over 18 months for their merchandising project. Okay, we de-risked the project, went down to Horsfree Road, and because board is agile, we delivered the pilot in six weeks. Okay, now when someone like Mel says, I've never worked on a transformation journey of this scale to be so successful ever, that's, you know, praise indeed. And if we look at, at the likes of the Kering Group, we all know the brands in the Kering Group across all of those, the Gucci's, the YSL's, for Puma speaking at our um, at NRF in New York, talking about their journey from their as was to as is. And this use case is from a FTSE 100 constituent in the UK. Okay, everything that they, they started in the Office of Finance for Treasury Management. Now, in Board's platform, everything that you see on that screen, whether you're in strategy, finance, merch, operations, supply chain, HR, marketing, all of that is latent and inherent. So if you buy an instance of board, you don't come back and say, John, I want that module because it's a platform. Does that make sense? Good. Right, now I need you to use some of your data if you want to connect to me, okay? So on the left-hand side of the screen, there's my details, okay? And on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see some of the assets. They've got some videos, some case studies. If you don't want to do it that way, I'm physically out there and would be delighted to speak to you all. Thank you all very much for your time today. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much.